I'm sure you're familiar with the idea of dipole moment, that if we have some molecules that are not centriosymmetric, that if the bonds are polar, in other words, the electrons are shared unequally, those, those uh, dipole moments of each of the vectors will add to form a molecular dipole moment. So what's a dipole physically? Well, it just means that we've got a separation of charge. And so we have something that is overall neutral, but the charge is not distributed symmetrically within the, within the molecule. So let's figure out, let's do an example. Let's imagine that we have the charge equivalent to a proton on this, on this uh, side of the dipole moment and the charge of an electron on this side separated by a dis uh, distance of one angstrom. So a chemical bond is typically about an angstrom and a half. So this would be a short chemical bond uh, and we've got uh, and that much charge. So this would be a really huge dipole moment because we have fully developed charges on, on both ends of the dipole moment. So uh, the way dipole moment is defined is that the magnitude of the dipole moment vector is just the charge times the length. So our charge is equal to the charge in electrons, so 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, and our length is one angstrom, or 10 to the negative 10th meters, and so we get 1.6 times 10 to the negative 29 coulomb meters. And this is a pretty small number, and so uh, we can see that a coulomb meter would be a huge amount of dipole moment, and so we have to work with such small fractions of a coulomb meter that it's conventional to work with a much smaller unit called the Debye. So one Debye is equal to 3.34 times 10 to the negative 30 coulomb meters. So we're going to use that that's, if you look up dipole moments, they're almost always listed in Debye. So let's take our answer and convert it to Debye's. So the symbol for Debye is just a, uh, a D. So the conversion factor is 1 Debye is equal to 3.34 10 negative 30 coulomb meters. So we can cancel our coulomb meters to get our answer in Debye. And we can see that that is equal to 4.8 Debye. So 4.8 to buy is a really, really big dipole moment. So most molecules have dipole moments smaller than that because we only have partial charges, not fully developed positive and negative charges on the ends of the dipole. Let's look at some data. We can see that we saw 4.8 would be a really huge dipole moment. We expect most molecules to have dipole moments smaller than that. And indeed, when we look at some typical molecules here, we can say uh, in this group, we have... Uh, really this is actually a really big dipole moment four. Uh, if we look at water and the alcohols, they're all very similar. Water is at 1.85. Alcohols, no matter how long we make the chain, they're all going to be around 1.7 because the polar group is the same. We've got this dipole going from the hydrogen to the oxygen. And of course, if we don't have anything uh, polar, we're going to get a dipole moment of zero.